Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about the most important skill in as an IT technician that you need to master which is as you can see on the screen attention to detail this is something that you need to get really good at you know I'm saying because with IT especially as an IT technician if you're in a first line second line or third line or any support role or even if you're a software program on the software side this one skill yeah, attention to detail is crucial you know um there's been instances where i've been trying to solve this when i was coming up like you know what i'm saying in my first job i've always been someone who's paid attention to detail but you know i'm saying when i start working in it that um i had to get really good at this you know i'm saying really really good and that's been so beneficial to me you know saying that early on like you know what i'm saying i mastered this one skill attention to detail you know what i'm saying because when you're talking to let's just say someone rings and says oh my printer's uh my computer's not switching on you know what i'm saying and what normally what people do is they ramble you know said they will be on the phone to you say, going 100 miles per hour giving you all types of information your job is to look for keywords you know i'm saying and what they're saying make a note of it meant make a mental note but what really works is if you have a pen and paper right next to you so if someone's talking to you saying oh my computer's not switching on i did this i did that I, last time if someone is working and some some notification popped up in the bottom screen okay so once you stop talking one notification what did it say was it windows update if it was going you as a technician now okay if the windows updates go, go find out what update what it was all right and see if you can uninstall it i'm saying so like you know that type of stuff and also when you pass a ticket on to second line if you're in first line or third line or even talk to your manager for help if you don't um pay attention to detail you know what i'm saying and your manager ends up picking up something which you should have done which you say well to sit stand, standing there in front of your manager and they say did you ask this question did you ask that question did you get this information and you said oh, sh oh i should have then I should have asked the, asked the user or the customer. Yeah, I should have asked the user or customer. I'm saying about this information. I'm saying before coming over to my manager. So, yeah, essentially detail. That's the I would say that's the most important skill. I'm saying, and some ways that you can improve this skill is. Uh, hold on, what you can do. Like as I say, uh, missing just one detail can have enormous impact, and, and that is true. Like you've seen, uh, be accurate, precise. Like I say, so the goal is to get things right. You know, saying double check, triple check. You know, saying or leave it for a little while and then come back to, for example, if you're on a ticket, like a ticket comes in, you ask all the relevant questions. You know, saying common sense questions. You know about the issue. Make a note of it. You know, saying on the ticket, leave it. Come back to it half an hour, ten minutes. I'm saying after afterwards, go ask more questions if you have any. You know what I'm saying, keep on asking them questions, gathering all the information before you pass it on to someone else. You know I'm saying even if you have to have to leave for a day. You know I'm saying speak to the person, get on the phone, and ask for more information. Like so, um, think of it like as if you're investigating something. You know I'm saying so you as an IT technician you know most of the time you you'll have to take on the characteristics of uh, investigator or I don't know what you call those guys who like private investigator like where you're going and uh, uh, probing people asking probing uh, questions like you know what happened what why how you know what I'm saying what caused this issue so and also like you know if it's a ticket, read the ticket a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, people include a lot of information in the ticket, too, you know what I'm saying? So see where you can pick up, for example, if it's a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? And you you're, you have a VPN, let's just say, you know what I'm saying, which the clients need to connect to in order to, you know, access on-prem resources. Then on the screenshot, you can probably, if, if you can see any icons in the bottom right corner, see if the VPN icon is there and you from your experience should know what I'm saying what 
the VPN looks like you know what I'm saying when it's logged in and when it's not see if the icons present if not say ask them like have you connected to the VPN before you could uh, you know say uh, access these files on our server if they work, if they're working remotely so you know, stuff like that so pay attention to the detail and hold on. let me just see if I can uh, give you some tips on this uh, just one second So, some ways that you can improve your attention to detail is first you can limit distractions. So let's just say clear your desk first. You know, say clear your desk and have you know, any devices like your mobile phone and anything that so could that could divert your attention remove that from or put it away in your cupboard or whatever and you've seen your drawers when you're back if you're at work if you're at home just remove it out of sight um what I've noticed what helps me is put my headphones on so if I'm like uh dealing with an issue put my headphones on you know and put some instrumentals on instead of music with lyrics put some instrumentals on like there's just a constant loop and li don't listen to music that will um you know make you want to get up and dance or something you've seen listen to like slow jazz jazz type of music you know what i'm saying where it's just an instrumental slow calm calm and relaxing music something to just like you know put you in a zone you know what I'm saying and calm you calm yourself because you can't resolve problems whilst being under pressure always remain calm you know I'm saying always stay calm try to relax when you're relaxed and calm that's when you can resolve all the issues you know what I'm saying and to the best of your ability because when you're tense you can't because your your mind's just focused on one singular thing you know I'm saying you know you know and you, you you'll be distracted easily so remain calm under pressure you see um close all your emails and stuff like you know email notifications you know um put your phone like i said out of sight and on silent if you have to and also inform people for example if you're sat with your co-workers inform them listen um i need to concentrate on this um please don't distract me say for the next half an hour or so you see and you know they'll, they'll be like okay fine you see um so communicate with your colleagues okay so another thing that's one thing uh take regular breaks you see take a short break you see in between whilst you're doing the task that also helps a lot you know what i'm saying get organized you know i'm saying use a diary to plan your work days ahead of time saying keep track of important meetings and appointments while marking them on your calendar like google uh, google calendar or outlook calendar you know i'm saying um maintain a schedule uh where you allocate specific time to specific tasks and you just solely concentrate on those make healthy lifestyle choices so you know work out i'm saying as an it technician especially you know, if you're in a support role your job might involve like you know calling in these desks rewiring desks you know fixing computers physically so you need to be in good shape you know what i'm saying and when you're in good shape it keeps you active and keeps your mind healthy you know what i'm saying and it also presents you with a challenge you know what I'm saying so a lot of it technicians you know what i'm saying when i see them they're really skinny and like you know what I'm saying, they always neglect their health but you know what i'm saying and then there's a few, you know what I'm saying, in, in IT support who are very health conscious and, you know, always like lifting weights and stuff, you know what I'm saying. They always, and those are the good ones, like, you know what I'm saying. Not saying, but they, they're the ones, you know what I'm saying, who saw, who are very, like, you know what I'm saying, on the ball and like, in the, they pay attention to detail. 
and they also go to other stuff as well. So it's it's an added benefit. You know what I'm saying, you know. So I I know you could be really busy and stuff. You know what I'm saying, but you can't neglect neglect your health no no matter what. So if you spend eight hours at work, at half an hour, even ten minutes. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, every day will do you good. You know what I'm saying, so. And they also help. Well, working out is just like you challenging yourself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, make healthy life. You know, eat well, eat good foods, and like you know, avoid junk food and stuff, which slows down, affects your your thinking, you know, in your in your mind and stuff. You know, and causes all types of diseases in your body. So and avoid multitasking. You know, a lot of people will say like your manager will come and say, oh, you know, do this and this. We got this deadline. No do one thing at a time you know, saying you know no need to put yourself in immense pressure you know, saying, because you can't do six different things at the same time it's not humanly possible no one can multitask you only have one brain and you can only concentrate on one thing at a time no matter how many times people say oh i can do this i can do that i can do this. nah let them do it you know, saying let them go mess things up you know, saying those are the people that they never give a hundred percent hundred percent effort into anything you know, in order to be good at IT, avoid multitasking. You know what I'm saying? I know it would look like you would need to multitask, you know what I'm saying? But you, you're only human. You can only do one thing at a time and just concentrate on that. You know what I'm saying? Concentrate on one thing and do it well. You know what I'm saying? And learn. You know what I'm saying? The key thing is whatever you do in IT, give it 100% and learn something from it and make a note of it afterwards. Okay? Always make a note of it, whatever you do because. With IT is, it's supposed to be in a support role. If you do something right now, you'll leave it, and ten months later, you'll have to go and re- do a refresh, or you know, what I'm saying as as you know, technology improves. You know, what I'm saying you need to implement new technology, and you need to know how you did what you're trying to do right now before. How are you going to do that when you haven't done it in like ten months? You'll forget about it. You know what I'm saying so. If you have made your notes, then you can simply go and glance over your notes. You know, skim read through your notes and see what you did, how you did it, to really catch up. You know what I'm saying, and jog your memory what you did. So always make notes. You know what I'm saying that also helps with, you know what I'm saying, and avoid multitasking. So, and what you can also do is take a few minutes daily to do some breathing exercises, and you can do this throughout the day. For example, if you, I'm not gonna lie, IT is a very high 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 pressurized like you know like in a very pressurized environment and you have deadlines and you have managers and sometimes you have managers who are not IT guys and even if you have an IT manager and you know I'm saying they put a lot of pressure on you, you know I'm saying that's just what the nature of the job you know I'm saying it is you know it's fun but it's also very very intense and pre- pressurized like you have people who are you know I'm saying you know they can't like a um, they have no people skills, you know what I'm saying? So they can't relate to you, you know what I'm saying? Good people, don't get me wrong. In IT, you find some really, really good people, you know I'm saying? Really nice people, you know what I'm saying? Hardworking, intelligent, but they have no people skills, you know what I'm saying? And that causes a lot of conflict within IT teams. So I'm going to make a video about that as well, you know what I'm saying? Soon. And um, talk about the different uh, types of, like, you know, uh, people that you meet in IT, you know saying? So, yeah, meditate, do some breathing exercises in the morning or whenever you feel anxious. Cause, and also, if you feel if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, things are getting to you, you know what I'm saying, and you feel a bit of anxiety or something, or stress, motion releases tension. So, walk around, take a break, go around your building, go climb the stairs, go to the toilet I'm saying drink some water you know walk around move start moving and what you'll notice is as soon as you start moving within a couple of minutes you'll feel different I'm saying from what you did before and don't don't take anything seriously so hopefully I don't want to keep on rambling on I'm saying but hopefully I've explained how to improve your attention to detail I'll be back shortly with another video thank you bye